Okay, uh, finishing off telecommunications, possibly. I'm not quite sure if we got extra things that we might uh, need to address. One more uh, area. Um, we've talked about um, uh, <laughs> uh, mobile phone vulnerabilities. Um, there's uh, one more aspect there, and that is the um, uh, chance to set up fake uh, base stations um, where uh, you think you're communicating with the telco, you're actually communicating with somebody else. Um, I suppose we should also mention uh, System Signaling 7, um, the uh, way of, of managing phone calls, setting up calls, uh, noting what is long distance, what is not, uh, all that kind of stuff. The uh, uh, I'm tempted to say the authentication of calls, but of course part of the problem with System 7 is it doesn't have real good authentication or verification or, you know, it was, again, as I mentioned before, the telcos were uh, definitely guilty of security by obscurity. They felt that, you know, they were the only ones who knew how the phone system worked and therefore they didn't feel that it was necessary to do anything in terms of security because nobody else could manage the phone system. Well, uh, maybe not completely manage it, but certainly an awful lot of people can mess with it. And so that is a, uh, a concern and one that remains kind of unaddressed. Um, I suppose you could do it if you managed your own uh, federated communications. We've talked about that. But, uh, you know, as soon as you hit the uh, telephone system itself, um, everything that goes on there, uh, you are not in charge of. So, uh, I suppose that you could yourself uh, learn Signaling System 7 and augment the security in some way, but that seems an awful lot of trouble to go to much easier just to send an email um, so um, but again there's <coughs> in in terms of mobile phones there's all kinds of other devices we've got our tablets um, PDAs aren't uh, as much of a thing anymore but smartphones certainly are and uh, I noticed when I got a new one recently uh, the one that I bought is known as a hybrid uh, it's not just good enough being a smartphone anymore. Um, it's slightly bigger, and so they figure that it's halfway between a tablet and a phone. Yeah. I don't like computers that don't have keyboards. Anyways, I don't like soft keyboards. Um, the uh, speech recognition systems uh, aren't as good as they think they are at transcribing. I've had a lot of experience in that uh, in the last few years. Um, so, uh, uh, anyways, it's an awful lot of people are just figuring that you know what they got in their pocket is is good enough. And unfortunately, there are definite differences between how something works on an actual computer um, with a decent sized screen and what you get on something that's going to fit in your pocket. Um, and the that is going on automatically these days, very much so. And, and so how a screen appears is can be very different depending on what you access it with. Um, everything seems to be compatible in terms of functionality except for the functionality that you can't do because you don't get that options, those options on the screen. Um, some interesting uh, things with social media, which of course all of my children do via their phones, and they talk about certain functions and say, why don't you just do that? And uh, 
<laughs> of course, you know, it doesn't appear on my screen. I'm, I'm looking at it on a computer. Some things only appear on computers. Some things only appear on phones. Um, interesting uh, incompatibilities there. Um, and uh, we got text spamming, of course, uh, and, and all the um, stuff that's uh, going on in that regard. Um, all kinds of frauds um, uh, in phones, in uh, text spamming. It's interesting that texts are being sent with links um, using shorteners, and so you don't actually know uh, when you get a message. And, and the fact that um, they try to identify themselves as uh, such and such a company in the text of the message is interesting in view of the fact that most people don't really know the phone numbers that they're supposed to be dealing with in terms of companies when you get a text message. And the uh, companies aren't making it any easier. Uh, they are not identifying. And, and certainly um, because of uh, the way that they uh, do text messaging, uh, sending out bulk uh, text messages themselves, the phone number that you get a text from, you know, even if I, who well, I'm on my way to a dental appointment, get a reminder from my dentist, that is not, uh, you know, the number that is listed there has nothing to do with any of the numbers from the actual dentist's office. Uh, so, uh, and... So lots of frauds in telecommunications, and then again we've got the uh, wonderful stuff uh, to do with uh, mobile content, um, active content, uh, programming and that sort of thing, and all kinds of malicious attacks that can be mounted that way, uh, going back to application security. So. Uh, I think we're done with, um, uh, telecommunications domain, and so on to operations.